Well, it was a lot easier a couple of years ago. Um, just for a little background, um, the uh, sprinkler requirement was at one point definitively restricted to buildings that were over 75 feet in height. Um, then they took that language out of the, the condominium statute, the height requirement, um, but it's still in the, the fire code, the state fire code. Um, so you, you can argue that it's still 75 feet, um, but, and that's, that's pretty much the prevailing opinion um, that that still applies to only buildings that are over 75 feet. Um, however, there is a, an argument that could be made that buildings under that fall into it because the condo statute used to have in there that it was 75 feet, all of a sudden that's missing. So they did that for a reason and didn't just omit it unintentionally, so an argument could be made. And in fact, I um, had advised um, some associations that uh, it probably would be a stretch to make that argument, but if they wanted to be 100% sure, they could follow the opt-out procedure um, that was in place, and some chose to do that and some didn't. Um, now, the opt-out procedure was available through December of 2016, so that time has passed. So unless the law gets amended, at this point, um, if you're over 75 um, feet, then you cannot uh, opt out. Um, and uh, so you, you are required um, to have the plan or the intent um, provided to the state by 2019. And then I believe it's 2020 where you actually have to have those uh, installed or at least begin installed and have to look at the statute again on that. Um, but the, the time for opting out of that has passed unless something else comes up. Now there is a provision that if the condo association opted out, but now they want to rescind that and actually have the fire sprinkler system, there's a procedure in place um, for that as well. One other thing that's uh, kind of worthy to note is that even the uh, associations that did in fact opt out, whether they were under the 75 feet and just wanted to be extra safe or they were over the 75 feet and they definitely were over required to either do the retrofitting or to opt out, they still had to have what was called an engineer or is called an engineered life safety system. So even though you don't have to have sprinklers um, that are to the code for the retrofitting, um, you still have to have a system in place. Um, so uh, there's, I, I think there's a, kind of a misconception that if you opted out, then you don't have to do anything as far as fire safety goes, other than maybe you have some insurance. But um, that is not the case. You still have to have the engineer life safety system uh, in place. Um, but for uh, opting out, that time has passed, so we'll just keep an eye on the statutes and see what happens. If an, if an association wants to go back to retrofitting, there's a procedure in place that we can help them with on that. Um, but uh, as far as opting out at this point, that is no longer a statutory uh, availability, so you, that's really not an option.